thanks for checking out Eskimo TV. I'm your host, Jason Escamilla, and today we're going to be talking about Jigsaw, a film directed by the Spirit Brothers and stars Matt Passmore and Tobin Bell. This film I was highly anticipating because I really enjoy the first few Saw movies that originally came out, and Saw is one of those franchises that I really liked the plot and the story and the direction of the first few movies that even though I didn't like some of the later ones, I still felt the need to watch it to see what they did with these characters that were established. And I'll be honest, when I saw the trailer for this movie, I was really nervous to go see it because I did not think that this was going to be a film that I would enjoy. It seemed like it was going to be a film that was just thrown to the story was thrown together and it was all about the torture which isn't why I like Saw. I like Saw because of the characters and why they're doing what it is that they're doing. I like their stories and after watching this film I have to say that I actually enjoyed it. I would probably have to say that this is out of all the Saw films probably my third favorite. I like the first two Saw films probably the most the main mystery of this film is how is Jigsaw back? If we've seen him dead, how is he back? The plot revolves around how dead bodies are discovered, murdered in the same manner that the notorious Jigsaw killer used to kill his victims, and these characters, our main cast, are trying to figure out how is this possible? Who is doing this? Is this a copycat or has Jigsaw returned? I thought that the pacing of this film was really good. It was a simple 90 minutes and it went by quick and they made good use of their time. I'm not a big fan of movies that take a really long time to tell their story when you can shave off certain parts. And even though I do have some problems with this film that I'll talk about here in a minute, I was never bored. In addition to our main set of detectives that are trying to figure out who is the jigsaw killer and who is causing these dead bodies to show up, there's a second timeline that directly connects to our main timeline later on in the film, which I liked. I liked these two timelines. It wasn't like Suburbicon, the other film that was released this same weekend, where the two timelines were not related at all. And one, of plot, one plot in that movie was completely underdeveloped. This movie spends a good amount of time in both sets of plots, and later on they directly connect, and I liked that. And in the second plot, we have five characters playing a jigsaw game. And one of the problems that I had with uh, these specific set of characters is just the way that they played the game. I felt like they should have stopped for a moment and played out all their options. If I'm playing this game, I wanna talk to people I don't want to be on anyone's bad side. I'm going to try to respect everyone because these people, whether I like them or not, are going to be are going to be the people that are going to help me win this game. And it just maybe they had maybe it was realistic that they could have reacted the way that they did. It was just annoying to see them act the way that they did because I wanted to be like, why don't y'all stop and talk this situation out. I really felt like a lot of the conflicts and a lot of the bad things that may have happened to these characters could have been avoided if they had just talked and come up with a game plan. And the other minor issue I have with the film is the fact that it is a little hard to believe that Jigsaw could orchestrate all of these games, them all work out the way that he planned, everything be the way that it turns out to be how is he making all of these traps it just it seemed over the top and I know it's a movie and that's just part of the gimmick but me being a nitpicker that was just one of the things that I thought there's no way that this one dude could do all of this or even if he has a couple other people that are under him there's still no way that this one person could devise all of these different me mechanical machines but putting that aside and putting those other airs that I talked about, I think that this film was enjoyable for me. I went in, it got my attention, I paid attention throughout the whole film, and I was in suspense, and there was good twist. I do enjoy the twist at the end, which I will not spoil 
in this review. If you're a fan of Saw and you've enjoyed any of the Saw films in any particular way, then I think that you'll enjoy this Saw film as well. I'm going to give Jigsaw a B minus. That's what I thought about this film. If you enjoyed this review, like this video and subscribe to Eskimo TV, where you can definitely look forward to more icy and chilly Eskimo TV reviews.